it's true to say that Yanagazawa have a reputation for producing world-class saxophones. They have top build quality, fantastic intonation, they're free-blowing, extremely responsive, and have a wonderful smooth tone. However, it's been some time since they've come out with a new design. And I think partly it's because their old models were so good, they perhaps felt that there was no need to constantly innovate and try and seek the next big improvement. That said, the time has now come, and they've produced this new WO series of saxophones. So there's two sides to the alterations that they've made. Firstly, there's the more technical and ergonomic changes. And secondly, and more fundamentally, they've sourced a different brass material and redesigned the shape of the bore. So firstly, let's take the, the more technical side of things. So they've added this plate here to the neck, which they cite as adding extra tonal resonance to the, uh, the saxophone in general. I think it probably also has a structural benefit. This can be a potentially um, slightly vulnerable part of the saxophone, and by adding structure here, it's only going to help things. Um, they've also added a palm key plate to the W01 and W02 series. That's just a plate underneath these palm keys here, which actually they currently have on the older 991 and 992 models, but they've just brought it down to the W01 and 2 models. Um, they've also got some additional feet underneath these side, uh, these right-hand side keys here, just here and here. I think this is more of a thing for technicians rather than players. Um, they have redesigned the shape of these E flat and C keys for the right-hand pinky. It's just a subtle change. I mean, personally, I hardly notice the difference, and um, I, I found it fine before, but I'm sure that they've thought long and hard about what they've done, and it's absolutely fine. They've also changed the, the shape of the front auxiliary F key here. Um, it's just got a slightly different feel to it. Again, I actually found it perfectly fine before, um, but I've got no problem with this slight redesigning of the shape here. Um, now, the most important bit, onto the way it plays. The sound's a little warmer, and I find a little more focused than the old 901. Um, I would say, in my head, the Yanni sound is typically kind of sweet and silky. That's its general nature. And that hasn't changed at all. It still has that smoothness to it. But it's just moved in those slightly different directions. So overall, I think it's an absolutely great sax. And I thoroughly recommend coming down to any of the stores and trying it out. <laughs> ¶¶